<laughs> John, what do you got going on here? Uh, hi, well my project is a uh, digital video player for the Color Computer 3. So we're displaying, uh, what's showing right here is 128 by 96, uh, 16 colors. Uh, this is running at 15 frames per second, um, give or take. And, um, you know, you start with standard video off the internet and process it quite a bit. And uh, you can display it on the color computer. It's playing off of the uh, Super IDE controller uh, with a compact flash card. And the only other hardware involved is Roy's uh, VGA adapter to display it on the LCD monitor. How is it all being loaded? HDB DOS or something? Uh, well, I load it with HDB DOS, but once it's loaded, it pretty much runs on bare metal. Wow. So. Audio and everything. Yeah, it's 11 kilohertz audio. It's basically AM radio quality. Has uh, this ever been done before on a color computer? Not as far as I know. Wow. And what all demos do you have on there? How many videos do you have it playing? I have uh, 44 short videos, uh, 5 to 10 minutes or less. And then I also have uh, about a half a dozen movies uh, and then in a couple of different resolutions, uh, including the 256 color composite artifacting mode, if you want to see that. Oh, really? So, yeah. Can you show me some of that? Sure. Sure. Um. So how long does the video can it play? It's basically as long as the video holds out. It, it takes about 100 meg of uh, storage for about an hour's worth of video. Oh, wow. And so I've got about 5 gigs of video on this uh, compact flash card, so we can sit here and watch it for about 50 hours. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> so, anyway, um, let's see. You want to see maybe a movie? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Try, drive. Um, all right, so let's put it uh, to composite video mode. And, uh, and what is this graphics mode you're talking about? So it's uh, a composite video mode that uses color artifacting. It's similar to the uh, those, the color artifacting modes we're used to that have the red and the blue. Okay. But instead, it's uh, this one has up to 256 colors available. It's recently been documented on the Coco3.com site. So this is a, a new discovery. It's a fairly new discovery. That's right. Okay. So. Um, Maybe this one is familiar to people. Um, We're playing bootleg movies on that color computer. <laughs> yeah. You don't have a BitTorrent client done yet, do no, you? No, no. Oh my gosh. So. Oh wow. Yeah, the color fidelity is pretty good. Yeah. Um, this is also dithered on top of that, but it's a, it, it's a pretty respectable color. So this is 256 colors? That's right, that's right. Uh, they're not very e randomly, or they're not evenly distributed. It depends on the exact palette. Um, but, uh, you know, there are 256 distinct colors if you, you know, capture the, a frame and, uh, and uh, take the RGB values, you will find 256 distinct uh, settings, depending okay. on the exact palettes. And what's the resolution of this mode? This is at 128 by 96 as well. That is um, amazing. Now, this reminds me of web video back in like yeah. 96, 97? Yeah, definitely. It's, it has a very similar look to that. I'm probably playing some of the same tricks or games or whatever to reduce the uh, amount of data required for the for the video that were played back then. Um, you know, overall it's pretty good. Um, and not a single bit of extra hardware. You're just reading it off of a, of a compact flash or a, a flash right. card. That's right. So it's a color computer and a ROM pack that's just being used as storage. That's right. That's wow. Right. So. How long did it take you to do this? Um, well, I started working on it uh, a little after last year's fest and worked on it quite a bit of you know most of my spare time for a month or two. Um, that, that was mostly on the emulator and then kind of set it down and then after Christmas I had some time off so I, I got it working on real hardware and spent another two or three months of my spare time getting it up to sort of up to speed and then off and on since then so 
it's a little hard to nail down exactly how much time it's taken. But <laughs> so, what what prompted you to even take on something like this? I mean, did uh, I mean nobody's done it? So right. Well, so it was so, sort of suggested on the list. In fact, uh, on the there was somebody on the list of quite a while ago who sort of suggested that he had done something like this, but it never really showed up. And then it was sort of, uh, I believe you actually uh, brought the topic back up, uh, you know, about a year ago, and there was some talking about how it could be done. And so I just started uh, trying to be helpful, saying, well, you could process the videos using uh, these tools and, and kind of get started. And while I was trying to make sure that I was giving decent advice, I did st got started on the project myself and sort of couldn't stop. <laughs> Wow, that's really amazing. Yeah, I was just yeah. thinking of, you know, dithering black and white DDG <laughs> stuff, blasting things on the screen. I had no right. idea. Wow, I'm amazed at the colors this thing gets. And you know, if you get far enough away... It starts to look pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like watching an iPad up close, or an iPod up close. Right, that's right, that's right. Well, that is amazing. Is this the whole movie? Yeah. Yes, it is. Wow. This should be slash dotted. Star <laughs> yeah. Wars on a candy Radio Shack color computer. That's right. Excellent. Well, <laughs> phenomenal job. Uh, cool. What's Thanks. next? Uh, I'm not sure. I've been uh, more of a tools and uh, a system kind of guy. I'm actually looking at maybe uh, some compiler work, but it's hard to say. Excellent. All right. Well, congratulations. Very impressive. Very bizarre to see this running on a color computer. All right. Thanks. Awesome. <laughs>